Kev, uh, opening day defeat here in Carlisle. How do you assess today? Yeah, you know, it's, um, it's the first game of the season. Everyone's excited. Um, but, you know, I felt that um, we didn't start as well as we could have done. Um, we did start to control the first two or three minutes. Um, and then, you know, there was a bit of a ricochet in the box. The ball fell nicely for their player in the squad. And then it puts you on the back foot um, in, in the opening minutes of the game. And it's a tough place to come with a really good crowd. Um, you know, if you don't start well, then it, the game can be a bit frantic. I think from 20 minutes on, we really started to control the game and uh, make some really good chances and good inroads into the uh, opponent's half and some good strikes. He had a really good strike with his right foot that just, just missed the post. And... Um, and I felt in the second half, you know, we tweaked a couple of things at half time and the application out of possession was much better. Um, and I felt, you know, we had a lot of ascendancy in the, in the early stages of the, of the second half. And, um, you know, we were doing everything we could to, to get a goal back. Um, again, Tilly got into the box and it was a great, great move and um, pulled back and the guy had an amazing block to stop him scoring. So, you know, there were some moments in the second half that, um, you know, we nearly scored, but um, for us, there wasn't enough, um, you know, clean cut chances in the second half. And uh, also at times, uh, our ball possession wasn't the level that um, it could have been. Um, there were some really good moments, um, but for the level of the players that we know that they're capable of, um, it, it just wasn't um, the level in certain aspects today. And despite the result, we know it's a new project, and there were eight new debutants out there today across the 90 minutes. Yeah, you know, it's really, it's really good that you know there were some some moments in the game where the team gelled, gelled really well, um, and it does take a little bit of time. And some of the um, the players that um, were, were here last season also did did quite well in the game, and that was pleasing to see. I think um, Hess came on and, and did well in midfield when he, he came on. George was um, was solid at the back in his position, and there was a lot of good performances from debutants in, in the game. Travis Johnson was excellent today. Um, um, it was really pleasing. James Balagizi had another really good performance and uh, in midfield. So there were some really good good levels. Ellery in goal was was outstanding in the first half. You know that's why we brought him. He, he was top level. Um, it's just unfortunately he's picked up an injury and um, you know and um, yes yeah, it's disappointing. But you know hopefully it's not too serious and he's uh, be back soon. And you could sort of see that new style of play coming into fruition. There's some brilliant combinations going forward today. Yeah, there was, there was, um, but we want more. Um, the, our, our level is higher than we showed today in certain aspects of the game. Um, our build-up wasn't the level that it needs to be, I and mean, it has been pre-season. Um, but you know that comes with uh, when you're losing one 0 and apprehension and a really good crowd, and mm. um, that comes with all those um, expectations and challenges. And that's we have to be better in possession. Uh, the boys know that, and um, you know we will be better um, next time and there was a double half-time change one of which was Ellery coming off was it an injury that forced that yes it was he picked up um, a slight uh, niggle um, it was um, if he carried on it would have um, it had been really worse and it could have done a lot of damage so it, um, we took a precaution to take him off in that moment but you know he was he was excellent in the first half and can we credit the, the Carlisle defense today they made it difficult for us yeah you know listen it, like I said before when we did the, the pre-match interview um, Paul Simpson is a really good manager sets up to the team really well defensively they were they were fairly solid but we got in quite a few times they, they defend quite low so there's not a lot of spaces in behind um, but you know at times we opened them up really well the chance that Dom, um, Dom Telford have in around the box was exceptional play from us uh, we needed more of that you know um, creativity in around the box and uh, um, quality and we would have um, had more chances and um, that was a really good chance just before half time um, would have changed the, the course of the game but um, you know overall there was a lot of pleasing aspects in the team today and, um, and, and some also some areas that we need to improve them very quickly. And obviously we knew there was a lot of train cancellations today. It was very difficult for fans to get up here, but 166 Reds in that away and it was fantastic support, wasn't it? Yeah, it's amazing. And, you know, we're just disappointed that we wasn't able to give them a goal um, or a win. Um, you know, but we're really thankful for the for the supporters for making a journey, and hopefully they saw some some good football in, in moments, um, but um, not the result that we all wanted. No, it, it will be nice to return home when we play um, Leighton Orient on Saturday. Um, they've just won uh, against um, Grimsby, I believe. So, yep, they're a good side, and um, you know the tip for, for promotion, Orient. So it'll be a tough game, um, and but we're looking to play in front of our own supporters and have some energy in the stadium and um, have a really good performance. Gaffer, thank you. Pleasure, thank you. So it'd be frustrating to lose out on the opening day how would you assess today's game it was a frustrating game it was a sloppy start something we need to change but there were still good bits like things that the manager wants us to work on that we came through but I just think it's like in training obviously next week just keep going keep working hard don't give up on the patterns the style of play and I feel like everything will come good and obviously to give away a goal sort of in the opening 5-10 minutes it was a bit of a freak goal wasn't it yeah it was a freak goal I'm not sure if there was a handball at the edge of the box but 
we still have to get the ball out of the box and then even if we don't get bodies behind it block the shots afterwards so it's just defend as a unit just don't give up on anything and just keep going and we talk about that sort of new style of play we've introduced you could see patterns that were paying off and you can see that with time it, it could be a promising thing yeah yeah I feel like there was a lot of good things and we have to look at the good things not just the negatives and hopefully going forward everything comes together and we'll get what we want and get promoted this season and from your sort of point of view personally I mean we know you're a ball playing defender but you sort of like to join the attack a little bit today I thought getting yeah. forward and joining the sequences the manager just changed the kind of formation so it put me in a different kind of role and whatever he wants from me obviously I'll be willing to do it and I'm um, just getting higher up and trying to help the team in any way possible but unfortunately nothing came from it but just keep working as I said but yeah and it was that same back three yourself with, with Dion and George how are you sort of getting on with them and the relationship you're forming in defence um, George, Dion they have a lot of experience and they're really good people they give me a lot of good advice and always communicate with me off, on and off the pitch so I feel like everything's working well just keep going and hopefully like we have a telepathic connection when the season kind of gets into shape so yeah Obviously we've got those senior heads but we've also got those young lads yourself and James sort of making the senior debuts in League 2 it was, a, it was an exciting day Yeah it was a blessing I thought James would say the same we're really excited about playing and the opportunity that the manager's given us and hopefully we can reward him like um, pay him back with all the confidence he's filled us with so yeah and we had 166 Crawley fans here today we knew there were tra train cancellations it was very difficult to get here but they were in great voice weren't they yeah, yeah they were in great voice and we're really really grateful for the, to have them here without them we wouldn't really be the team that we are and just want to say thank you and hopefully we can do them proud going forward and obviously next Saturday we'll be at home we'll get to see them in, in full voice and yeah. I bet that's an exciting prospect or in a tough team yeah, yeah it's exciting for me it'll be my first game at home and hopefully I can give a good account of myself and get back to winning ways so, yeah. Toby, thank you. Thank you.